In this video, you're going to learn how to use the inherited widget to pass data from a parent widget to a child widget in the widget tree. So, what is the problem? The journal app has a mood selector value to be available to all pages. Also, all pages need to read the selected mood from the parent page. So, what is the solution? We'll use the inherited widget to allow child pages, you know, the widgets, to access the parent page selected mood by going up the widget tree. The inherited widget is immutable and allows child widgets to access data above in the widget tree. Now, what are the steps to create an inherited widget? First, you create a class that extends inherited widget. Second, add fields to contain data. Third, add the of method to access the inherited widget from child widgets. And fourth, add the update should notify method to notify widgets to rebuild if the data changed. Let's take a look at the application running so that we can see how we can use the inherited widget as a a managing state in our application. So this is just a simple journal application with different journal entries uh, with different moods, happy, sad, bored. And right now all is selected. So if you click on happy, you will get all the different happy entries. The ones that have a smile, neutral, perhaps we bored, and the bottom, the, the top application, the home, has the combo box that is bored. This is the, the parent. And the two child widgets, the two child pages, are here the journal and the stats pages. And as you can see, the stat page, stats page knows exactly that the board was selected. And if we go to smile, you can see it tracks and plots the smile and so on with the happy. It shows you the total number of journal entries and how many were happy. And if you switch back to journal, as you can see, it's only showing the selected happy moods. So how would we accomplish this? To manage the state, we create an inherited widget. We create a class called AppState that extends the inherited widget. Now, all we need to keep track in this uh, App state is just the moods. We have a constructor for the app state. And here's the two main uh, prop, uh, methods that we use. The first one is the dot of. So we create an app state of the build context, which actually gets the build context and depend on inherited widget of exact type, which happens to be the app state here, the class. This, the child widget, the child page, uses the dot of to get access to the parent widget and the data that it contains, which happens to be the mood. Now the update should notify. This is used to every time a mood is selected and changes. So in other words, here, let's go to sad. The update notify executes, is triggered. And it tells the child widget that, hey, it's time to redraw. We have new data now. Now let's take a look at the home button. The home obviously is where we have the uh, main, the sad um, drop down box. And in the body, we have, we declare the app state, which is the inherited widget here. And the moods is the selected mood that has been selected in the combo box here. And the child is the current page that's selected. In other words, the journal or the stats page. And the home button, that's all it does. It just wraps the app state so that now we have the app state that any child of the home screen can access back up here what the selected mood is. Now let's take a look at the journal list. In the journal list, we declare the app state here and we do a late declaration because we're going to use the did change dependency method to get access to the app state from the home 
page, which we do by app state of context. And now we have a reference to the app state. Now, if you look at here in the body of the journal entries here, we have, of course, scaffold the safe area, but the future builder is waiting for us to get the data, which was called during the day change dependencies, the journal list data, which only it makes a call to a class called get data and it loads the journals. In our case, it's just a sample of JSON entries of the journals, the moods, the date, and so on. So the future builder waits for that. It checks for the snapshot if it has data. If it doesn't, it just show a circular progress indicator, you know, showing spinning when it's loading, it's loading. And then it calls the build list view separated, which is this particular uh, method here, which all it does is just creates a list view, a list view builder, list view separated. And it goes in and builds our list for us. This is not the focus of our video here, so I'll leave that alone. Now let's go to the uh, journal stats page. And let's go ahead and just change the mood to maybe a uh, nice smile. Basically, it's the same thing here. We declare the app state late in the did change dependencies. We get access to the app state by using the app state of context. And now keep in mind that every time this changes, the did change dependencies gets called and the inherited widget the optationify is triggered, gets this called, and gets its access again to what was selected in the home button. It retrieves the data and reloads the page to show the new charts, the new moods that were selected. And the main part here is also in the build, the same as the journalist. We have the scaffold, the safe area, and we use the future builder, waiting for the stats data to come in. And again, it looks if it has data. If it does, it builds the stat widget. And I'll do a quick look at the stats widget. And what I've done is I created a class that just creates these vertical uh, bars. And it looks at the moods, what was selected, not selected. And it just builds these particular bars. And as you can see, the uh, inherited widget is a pretty straightforward a widget to use. If you want to manage a state that you want to, any child widgets, any child pages, they need to access the parents data. How does it work? The inherited widget is great to pass data from an ancestor widget to descendant widget. The inherited widget is immutable and the data are final in the Flutter framework, it builds the inherited widget to refresh with the new data.